Um, you can't point out your own question. <laughs> I'm in charge of your okay, question. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Squawks, what is the happiest memory you have? Cycling to my grandma's every Saturday and playing oh. and playing The Sims. <laughs> oh, I yeah. used to, literally. I am a gamer today because of my grandma. Oh. Those of you that don't know, she passed away. Um, God, when was it now? It was a year ago. Literally, like the first of September mm. two thousand seventeen. I was with her. The, I was with her the entire night before she passed away. And she is the reason I'm a gamer because <laughs> when The Sims, we keep pulling this down. Mm. When The Sims One came out, um, my granddad used to build PCs. And he made, and my grandma used to love those type of like strategy games. Mm. Um, so she was mental into The Sims. She loved The Sims. And every time back then, you had to like download it from a disc. And then when you got the upgrade, you had to get another disc yeah. and then download that. But then because you had the upgrade, you didn't need the original disc. So grandma would then give me the original disc mm. when she got an upgrade. So I never bought The Sims when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> and it was literally just going to my grandma's every weekend and, and we, we just played The Sims together. Just, it was like my favorite memories ever. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you saw that face, guys. <laughs> maths. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -mm -mm. It's the I work. did do a maths vlog, oh. so go and have a look at the maths vlog. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's the work, forward slash, assignment hard. Do placements have to, is there these... a couple of questions on one thing, yeah. Okay, so basically, is the work forward slash assignments hard? Well, okay. advice on first placement. They, them two would work together. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so maths. As if you go and have a look at my vlog, you'll see that the recent maths exam I took was not hard. It was really simple. Um, to be fair, I'm yet to watch. But one then yet. it depends on who you are and what you're like. But I struggle with maths personally. She does. Really she bad. thought she was born in like 1990. Exactly. You know, I'm, I'm an 83 baby. So. <laughs> Um, I really struggle with maths and I found it incredibly easy and I did it in like seven minutes so that's just... Seven minutes? Seven minutes. Good girl. I mean it was ten questions and we did get a calculator. Nobody knows that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. So work and assignments hard. The thing is with things like exams and things they're only hard if you don't know the answer. Yeah. Like, if you know the answer, it's easy. So if you revise and put in the work, you're going to get the rewards from it. Is the shorter answer of that. Then I've got um, a question to add to that, though. Mm -hmm. What if, because if anyone's like me, I really struggle with revision because I try you? so hard to remember mm -hmm. stuff and it, I just lose it. I'm like a sieve. Yeah. So how would you retain that knowledge? Good question. So a go. top tip that I was given for that was by using the different lobes of the brain, I know, interesting fact Get Getting technical now. Are you ready? Yeah. So basically you can't just read and read and read. You have to read, write, watch videos like YouTube, um, <laughs> <laughs> listen and speak. So you have to talk to people, like bounce off each other, get a, a work group together, bounce off questions to each other. So it, it jogs all the parts of the brain because during an exam, apparently, when your mind goes blank, you're going to have other sections that backs it up. Oh, wow. Uh. Does, does that even make sense? Yeah, I guess, yeah. So your mind goes blank, but your whole mind doesn't go blank. It's just that one little piece of the memory that's gone blank. But because you've used every section of the lobe, it's refreshing and it, it pulls forward that information. Interesting. So are the assignments hard? It depends, again, it depends on what the assignment is. I found my very first assignment a real struggle because I didn't understand it and... and was it nerves about your first one? Yeah, because it was my first one and I wasn't very academic anyway. But once you get that first one out of the way, you take on the feedback, you go to your personal development department if you've got one of those at your university. Every university you should have one of those and get some tutorials and you'll be fine. It's not, it's not that hard, like I'm not academic at all. I left school without GCSEs and trust me, I'm the worst person at academic and I've done it and if I can do it, any of you can do it, so. <laughs> Good advice. Oh, advice on first placement. So yeah. I'm gonna do a whole vlog on placements, just purely for placements, because there's been quite a lot of questions about placements. So I'm gonna cover that in a different vlog. Sounds good. In the next couple of weeks, in the next two weeks, okay. Okay, so what have we got on here? If we've run out of there, we can go on to YouTube, so. Do you want any plans on coming to America one day? Oh, yeah, go on then. Any plans on coming to America one day? <laughs>
That is from Rennie? Yeah, Renee, yeah. Renee, sorry, um, Renee. I would love to come to America. It's just at the minute, I don't really have the money. And this sounds pathetic, but I have one big issue, meaning that I can't really leave the flat for more than one night. Mm. And there are two little fluff balls that you guys love so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, my neighbour could probably look after my cats, to be fair. But I would, I would get really paranoid mm. and really anxious about how they're doing. And I'd want to call up my neighbour and go, you're right, how can I speak to the cats? Mm. <laughs> FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, with the cats, you know. I'd love to. Um, <laughs> it's just really hard because mm. of my, my little my little babies at home. So, yeah. Aww. I like this question for you, Claire. Yeah. This is from Says Francis. This is from Says Francis. Yeah. yeah. Hi, she, won't says, she won't mind me saying her name. We know that you're doing um, a collab with Claire soon. So, cool. And I have seen all your comments, Says. I know who... I've just hit yes, myself in the face. You do, I know yeah. who you are. See, she knows who you are. So, one thing you love about gaming. I like that question. <laughs> this, this is because it's relevant to EGX. Yeah. Um, so, come on then, Claire. What do you, what's the one thing you love about gaming? I love gaming, but I love retro ga gaming more she than... She does. Like, I don't do card and things like that. I you do played love... Mario today. I played Mario. Old school Mario <laughs> on an, an old Nintendo. I was so excited. It was a SNES. A SNES. It's amazing. I was so happy. Um, but I love proper retro video gaming. And to be honest, I look. I think it's just I don't know where it's came from in my life because I've always had a computer or a console or as far as I can remember, like since I was tiny, tiny. Mm. I don't know where it's come from or why they my kind of came decided. big when we were younger. When yeah. they, they kind of, I think they first came into households households when we were kids. Yeah. So. So for me, it just it reminds me of my childhood and being young and innocent and playing video games with my nan and yeah the short answer was it, it reminds me of a childhood because it's what I grew up with and it's what I love mm. and it's nice to just take your mind or like we said before it's nice to take your mind off nursing and yeah just to distract yourself from real life I think it's just nice to get away being a nurse is important but you also need time for yourself mm. and I know that from, yeah. from working yeah. in, in sort of health a lot of a lot of hate for the pineapple <laughs> guys what is wrong with you yeah the pineapple I question. love this one um Miss Lucky Ducky, hashtag She's pineapples streamer, forever. She's a by the way. Yes, pineapples forever. <laughs> Real question from William Thompson. Hey, William. What made you start doing YouTube and live streaming? Um, well, funny question, actually, because I never wanted to be a live streamer. Mm. Never did. I wanted to be um, like a Jacksepticeye type character. I wanted to do pre-recorded content. Um, I wanted to be like funny, because um, mm. I think I am. <laughs> I'm really not. I, but I didn't have the equipment because you need mm. like a proper PC and yeah. they'll get a game capture card and it can be quite expensive. Yeah. And I got impatient because I was I was on a minimum wage job working at a nursing home, you know, working five days a week, minimum wage, and I was just keeping my head above water. Mm. And it was just really, really hard. Um, and then I discovered that if you live streamed, you can just press the share button on the PlayStation <laughs> and ta-da, you can Done. go live on YouTube. Yeah. So I thought, do you know what? Screw it, let's give it a go. And do you know what? Even if this became a full-time thing, I would never go out streaming. Mm. Streaming would be my is my number one thing now because it's so interactive yeah. and it's so good. It's nice, yeah. It's so nice. And um, I would still do like Let's Plays on the sides, but I, I'm so happy that I just kind of got the guts to do live streaming because it was never what I wanted to do, mm. but I don't regret it at all. I don't regret it. Okay, I like oh, this one. Oh, that's from Kyle. Which one? That Both of them. Oh, okay. So yeah. your ultimate goals. Two Ordinary Guys. Oh, hi, oh, I know them. Yeah, <laughs> Kyle from Two Ordinary Guys. Yes, yeah, I think they subscribed to me. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's Kyle, the blonde one or the, the other one? The blonde one. The blonde yeah. one. Oh, he's yeah. cute, bless him. He is a cute They're both cute, though. Yeah. Claire, what's your name? Claire Carmel. <laughs> Claire Carmile. What was, what was it he called you? Claire Carmile. <laughs> He's going to hate us without any. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. So, okay. your ultimate goals. Um, what's this professor? Professional person. Oh, I get it. A professional or person. That's had the biggest impact on your mm. career. Okay. So, your ultimate goals or the professional person that's had the biggest impact ultimate on your career? Ultimate goals? It, well... It depends what sort of goals, like work-wise, personal. My ultimate goal in life would to be to save the world, but we all know that's not going to happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, if I can just literally inspire and motivate one person to be a, a person or encourage them to be their best selves, that's my life made. That is the ultimate goal to me. 
but work wise I want to work with students, I want to mentor students, I want to work in a general practice, I want to keep my sexual health nurse as well because I love it. There's it was so jokes when you first got a sexual health job. I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great fun yeah. and I just I love it. I love it all. And what was the next question? Uh the person or profession that had the biggest uh, I guess professor actually that had the biggest impact on your career. Oh. 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 Let me just think. <laughs> Take a moment. I'll cut. It's going to have to crop this video. Actually, it's getting to 24 minutes now. That's a really tricky question because so many people have had um, such an impact on me throughout my life. Not throughout my life, but throughout this nursing journey. So I think... I mean, it started for me when I was seven years old and my granddad was dying at home. That's when I first come into contact with nurses and I thought, you know what, these people are amazing and they're a massive, in massive inspiration to me. And that's my first ever memory. So I think probably that those nurses back then, the district nurses that came out, it's probably why I've got a massive love for the community because that's all I've ever known is community. So actually, no. Do you know what? I'm going to... Do you know what? <laughs> the biggest thing that's had the biggest... I have no idea. Okay, sorry. In my head, it's making sense. <laughs> I, I know exactly. I'm reading her mind. The big, the, honestly, the biggest impact on me was during my first year of nursing. The first six months, I, I got my head... I've said this before in a vlog. I got my head down. I just wanted to work. I wanted to pass the course. I didn't want to do anything else. And then halfway through, after the six months, we had a Stay In Successful event, which was put on by Rob Mapp. Big shout out to Rob Mapp, our programme director. Because if it wasn't for him and he didn't put on this Stay In Successful event, I probably wouldn't be doing half the amount of stuff that I'm doing now. Because, because of that event and the things that people said during that event about... It was really motivating, basically. And there's this one guy that was there, um, what's his name, David Keeling? Don't look at me. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> I think his name is David Keeling. He's like a comedian slash motivational speaker. Motivational? Motivational. I won't, I won't change it. I'll help. Well. Motivational speaker. Um, and he was saying stuff about, do you want to get through these three years with your head down, just getting by, or do you want to make something of yourself and make the most of these three years at university? And just literally from that moment, I don't know what happened, but literally something just clicked. And I was so motivated from that second. I was like, whoa, okay, I need to change because I can't just be getting by. I need to do something. So those are the three things, top things, I think, that have really impacted on my career. And me, I'm kidding. <laughs> I oh, helped her obviously, YouTube. Obviously. Oh, yeah, and you. <laughs> she helps me so much with my channel. So we've come off the Discord now um, for mine, but Renee did have another question. And she basically asked, um, at what age would I ever give up streaming? Um, I will play as long as I can. Mm -hmm. My grandma had a muscle wasting disease and it never stopped her from gaming. It stopped her from doing the games that she liked to do, which was PC games, but she went on to things like Facebook games <laughs> and did oh, like, like the farming that's so stuff. Cool. Yeah, because she still wanted to yeah, play games. That's so cool. And she did it into her 70s. So I don't think I ever will. There is no age on No, honestly, I don't, <laughs> there's there's no age. It doesn't matter. Mm. If you like doing something, mm. don't ever stop. Unless it, unless it isn't making you happy anymore. Yeah. Don't ever stop. Or you physically can't. Yeah. Like my, well, here's the thing. My grandma had a muscle wasting disease and she mm, found she it. My, my granddad um, messed around with her mouse settings and it was really sensitive. So if I touched it, the, 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 the cursor would fly off the screen. <laughs> But if she touched it, it was like a normal mouse because oh, she was so, yeah. like, because of her muscle wasting disease. So but just a quick one. Um, <laughs> what's his name? What's his actual name? My nephew, Michael. Say hi to Claire. Hi. Hi. <laughs> there you hi, go. Hi, Michael. Did it. <laughs> My nephew, everybody, is Tuga. Um, um, Tuga? Tuga. I don't know. Tuga? But yeah, say hi Sorry, to Michael. Claire for me. Hi, Claire. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Tips on passing first year. Yeah, that's your question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. Tips on pass so basically, your first year is get a good mark. It's a it's a practice year. Let's <laughs> face it. First year is your practice year to make your mistakes and learn from your mistakes. Um, 
Make mistakes. <laughs> Don't listen to her. Get good marks. Study hard. You want to get good marks and study hard, but you are going to make mistakes. Yes. You are going to make mistakes in first year because it's all new. You're finding your feet. And for me, I mean, my first assignment, I got 55%. Okay, that was a pass, but I was gutted and I made a lot of mistakes. But I took on board the feedback and I and changed. It was a pass. And the next, my next assignment, I managed to get 75%. So just take on board any feedback you get on exams and assignments. Take them on board and put them into practice for your next one. Also, top tips for passing first year is... Make a YouTube channel. Make a YouTube channel? <laughs> Why aren't you YouTubing yourself? Um, Sorry. <laughs> My brain's gone. This is why you shouldn't vlog with me. No, I shouldn't. I can't Claire's think a serious right vlogger. I'm, I'm a, a serious gamer. Vlogger. <laughs> I'm a gamer. What was this? Oh, go look up Manchester Phrase Bank for assignments. Manchester Phrase Bank is amazing. And the book? The BNF? Yeah. You need a BNF for first year. See, I know that, and I'm not even a nurse. Top tip for first year get yourself a BNF. You can get it free from any pharmacy. Just tell them that you're a student nurse and they'll give you one it's because i hear you talk about it all the time the bnf it is your bible <laughs> let's face it it's your bible it's i watch your vlogs and i hear you talk all about all the, the, all the time. drugs and medication side effects and everything is in your bnf <laughs> she's lost it so first year is literally about finding your feet finding your style of writing how you write assignments how you revise, um, finding your room number of where you've got mm -hmm. to go in the in the university, um, and just don't feel so overwhelmed with first year because it can feel overwhelming as well at times. So, yeah, that's it's like starting big school. It is big school. It's big school. <laughs> right, look who the next question's from. It's me. <laughs> yeah. We each gave each other a question, didn't we? What was your question? Okay, I don't Emma. remember it. Okay. Claire. If you had to play one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Okay, so I'm gonna expand on that. Which PlayStation are we talking about? One, two, any, three. Any one you want. Because I've got different games for each PlayStation. Any game, any okay. console. So, PlayStation 1. Um, back in the day, PlayStation 1, when that came out, I was really into racing games, so probably Grand are you yawning. No, <laughs> it, um, it's really late, guys. It is, it's like <laughs> half past midnight. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, pre PlayStation One. I've got very good memories of Gran Turismo. Love that game. Need for Speed Underground Two was amazing. PlayStation Three is Far Cry Three. You guys know that I replayed that on the PlayStation, and then PlayStation Four. That's I only asked for one, by the way, not. Yeah, but I said which console. <laughs> So then, so Far Cry 3, shut up, I'm going to continue. Far Cry 3 on the PlayStation 3, and on the PS4, I don't know. Maybe Cod World War 2. Uh, that's very controversial, because a lot of people will hate that game. But I love Boots on the Rack. But did Cod, Cod copy Halo? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, most people said no. Another Wi-Fi Wars vote, don't ask. Oh, so yeah, God. so Gran Turismo, New Speed Underground 2, Far Cry 3 and world war 2 that on um, on each ps on each playstation okay. there we go advice on what you wish you knew when starting second year oh oh they're getting good now guys oh that is a good question <laughs> how fast is gonna go oh. <laughs> that's it <laughs> that you was know, some ting <laughs> people always say oh yeah you know you blink and it goes fast. I mean, the tell years since first year. No one told me that second year was going to be the fastest year of life. My late 20s went fast. 25 yeah, to 30 yeah, just vanished. <laughs> but this last year, has, I've literally blinked and it's gone so fast. It's been crazy. I don't know what difference that makes. I was going to say, is that it? <laughs> she sounded like she was finished there, so I say it. Advice, oh, be organised, yes. <laughs> Advice for second year, oh my God, sorry. Can we just cut and start again? Yeah, so, cut. okay. So, Claire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the first time we've asked this question. My brain's gone. <laughs> Honestly, this is, this is not the second time we've asked this question. <laughs> Advice on what you wish you knew when starting second year. <laughs> Okay, this is our second take of this. No, it's not. Because I've just remembered. It's, it's, it's not at all. It's the first take. She's absolutely lying to you. 
Okay, my advice for second year is literally be organised because the, the workload goes up in second year, the level goes up in second year, everything is intense in second year, but if you're organised and you're doing the work as it comes in and as it's launched to you, you're going to stay on top of it and you're going to manage just fine. Like, good advice. I found it just fine. First time round, good advice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I smashed it. <laughs> advice stay organized prepare prioritize your workload as it comes in and you'll be absolutely smashing second year green day richard says hi green day so green day richard says when did you start playing video games and what game did you first play <gasps> oh my god i'm gonna give her my age right now okay so mm -hmm. when i was a kid um we were very poor i've played every playstation but i never had a ps1 my best friend had it Mm -hmm. However, my granddad, being an electrician, um, he would often get old, and I mean really old stuff from like the 80s, fix it and give it to me in like the late 90s. So in like sort of 1993, I was playing an Atari and my first ever game that I ever played was Pitfall. And we spoke about this today at yeah, EGX. Did, yeah. It was basically the colours in this game, it was very <laughs> pixelated. So everything was in square blocks and it was green and black and the sky was blue. It's like the old Amstrads. Remember yeah, Amstrad? so yeah, mm -hmm. like because the sky was blue, the grass was green and you had to jump over logs. It was like, eh, eh, <laughs> eh, 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 eh. You had to do this on the keyboard. <laughs> no, it was a joypad thing. Oh, I'm not yeah. even sure. I think it was a joystick. Was, sorry, I was thinking about my Amstrads. Too. Oh yeah, but I had a Commodore 64 with the tape. Oh, you had yeah. to rewind the tape. <laughs> to start the game oh my god like <laughs> but pitfall was the, i used to come home from school and i used to play pitfall non-stop claire you ready yes what was your best thing about second year lots of second year questions oh this is easy general practice placement oh, all right love simple general, <laughs> my general practice placement to be fair i watched your vlog is, you loved um, it i absolutely loved my general practice placement. it sounded like an and amazing I cried place so much when i left it sounded like such a good place to work though but, oh no, but then I did do the Buddy International week last week and that was possibly one of the best weeks of my life. It was such an amazing week. I met loads of international students and... One of them was at had, EGX. We had a great time. <laughs> one of them was at EGX. I saw her on Instagram and I was like, what? Um, it was yesterday, wasn't it? We weren't there yesterday. She went yesterday, yeah. I saw it and I was like, oh, I haven't actually commented on a thing. I'm going to have to comment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that two moments from second year that really stand out. Emma? Yes. How long have you had Sabre by Lettuce? I got them both on the same day. I got Sabre from um, a town called Corby. And then um, I took him, I got Corby? my- Corby? Isn't that by Liverpool? No. <laughs> it's in Northamptonshire. What am I thinking of? I don't know. No. Sorry. She's not a geography person. No, I'm really not. Got them both on the same day. And I think they're turning eight in February. Because I think uh, yeah, Misty- Yeah, they're only young when I- Stayed at yours. When yeah, was that? I don't know. Five. Mystique was um six years ago. Mystique is two weeks older than Saber, um. So I just kind of give them the joint birthday around right about the tenth mm. September, tenth February, and um. So yeah, it'll be eight years this February. I can't believe it. It's been are you yawning. I can't stop yawning. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I've, I've started now. That's so, yeah. It. <laughs> Claire, what will you do after you graduate? Work my. I thought I said mattress then. <laughs> It does look like oh, mattress, yeah, it does doesn't look it? like mattress, just like a glance. <laughs> it's your handwriting, it's masters, not you guys. It's, masters, it's So yeah, me, what we do after reason. you graduate, work, masters, etc. I think I've, I've sort of covered that. I've told you the areas that I want to go in, general practice nursing, um, helping students, sexual health. But I, I, I am in a bit of a... Oh, I am in a bit of a... Sorry, she's just showing me the next question. I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I don't know what to do first. I don't know whether to do a teaching qualification when I qualify because I do want to do maybe teaching at the university mm. or do I want to do something else that's like a mentoring course? I think you're do so I do passionate, you'd love teaching. Yeah, I would. Um, or do I want to do my nurse prescribing because I want to do nurse prescribing? I, I mean, I am in a dilemma with what I actually want to do now when I qualify, like what's the first thing I want to do? But you can do? take a year out. 
No, I don't want to take a year off. Okay. There's okay. no chance of taking me. <laughs> oh God. No gap year, guys. Not a chance for a gap year. It's taken me ten. Years. Don't go to Fiji. No. <laughs> it's taken me almost ten years to get to where I want to be right now. I'm going to email the careers guy, Alex, who's amazing at Birmingham City University, and speak to him about all of this. He knows I it's saw coming. it on the train. What? This, this university? Yeah, you did, didn't you? I did. Sorry, interrupting.